What the world needs now is love, sweet love. No, not just for some, but for everyone. Lord, we don't need another mountain. There are mountains and hillsides enough to climb. There are oceans and rivers enough to cross till the end of time. What the world needs now is love, sweet love. No, not just for some, but for everyone. Hey TVs, ooh, it's Psyche Bob, I tell you, it is Sunday and I'm rocking, I'm having a 1960s flashback, Psyche Bob is just in the groove today, I'm telling you, I'm feeling cool and hip, I got on my new tie-dye, by the way, how you like my new tie-dye, this is my new Sunday solar shirt, it's like the sun flaring, Shh. and I got on my Lord Surya sun god pendant from India. So I tell you, Sega Bob is in a Sunday mood. You guys are the best. Well, we're going to have a fun day here today. I got some interesting things to talk about and show you. But before we get into that, uh, I want to give a big shout out and say thank you. Thank you to all who came up to yesterday's, excuse me, <clears throat> yesterday's video. We had Saturday night seance. That's right. The spirit people came through. I feel so blessed. I mean, I am always amazed at the Saturday night seance. Um, you know, it's just, it's an amazing experience and I feel very privileged and blessed to be able to be a channel. So anyways, if you haven't seen yesterday's video, I invite you go check it out. It's in the queue, video queue right before this one. Okay. Well, here we are. I tell you, I'm feeling in my 1960s mode. I got a fun little story to tell you. And I have some other cool stuff to show you today. So, <clears throat> you know, like that song, everybody needs love, you know. Well, you know, one day I was sitting in the back room of my bedroom, and I swear I heard crying, crying coming from the living room. I thought, oh, it's a spirit. And I walked down to the living room, but I didn't see anybody. I thought, my, what is that cry? I hear a gentle sobbing. And I look over and the sound is coming from my Louis Vuitton bag. And I thought to myself, that Louis Vuitton bag is crying. <laughs> For any of you who are new here, uh, I recently got this Louis Vuitton bag. This is a vintage bag. I love it. I carry it everywhere. It's my day-to-day go-everywhere bag. I just throw it over my shoulder and fill it with all my stuff I need. And uh, anyways, but I love my Louis Vuitton bag. But my Louis Vuitton bag was sitting over there, and it was looking lonely like it had been depressed and i thought i even saw a tear coming down it maybe not but it seemed like it at the time <laughs> so i go over to my louis vuitton bag who i call louis because he's my friend i said lou what is wrong with you and louis says oh bob i'm alone i miss my people and i said you miss your people he said, I don't have anybody to talk to. I said, well, Louie, I talk to you every day. But Louie's all sad. He said, I miss my people. I said, the people of France, is that who you miss? And he just says, no. He shakes his, you know, little body bag, no. I said, well, who are you missing? He said, my people. I said, who are your people? And he says, I miss the bag people, my people, the bag people. And I looked at Louie, I thought, well, you know what? He is a bad person in a sense. So, you know, I take him walking every day. I said, Louie, you need a girlfriend. You know, you need a partner. You need somebody to hang with. So I went to Louis Vuitton store and I was looking around. I thought, I took Louie. I said, do you see any women here you like? Any chicks you want to hang out with? Louie said, oh, that girl over there, she's real pretty. Well, I went over and checked her out. She was high maintenance. And I said, Louie, if I get a girlfriend for you like that, you're never going to be happy. That girl is too high maintenance for you. You need somebody a little more down to earth. So we left Louie Vuitton. That didn't happen. Louie was all shaking in my arms, nervous and trembling all day. And then 
I got an email and the email said, Dear Bob, thank you for your recent purchase of Louis Vuitton, your Louis Vuitton bag. If you're interested, we have some more stock in that you might enjoy. And I said, ha, we'll find Louis a girlfriend yet. Yeah. Well, listen, I went over to this site and I have to tell you, she was there. Oh, let me tell you, she was a beauty, an Italian beauty, beautiful girl, fair skin like moonlight. Yet she had a dark aura and mystery about her. And I could tell right away Louie was really into this, this girl, Italian beauty. So I said, Louie, I'm going to bring you a girlfriend. <laughs> and so Louie's girlfriend is now arrived. And you're saying, what the hell are you talking about, Bob? Well, let me introduce you Louie's girlfriend. By the way, her name is Gigi. And here she is. <laughs> this is my new Gucci bag. That's right. I just got this. It's a vintage Gucci. It's from the late 1970s, early 1980s. It's in really great condition. A little bit of wear. It's vintage. But now Louie has a girlfriend, and her name is Gigi, also known as Gucci. <laughs> Anyways, a lot of you have been writing me. You said, Psyche Bob, we love it, your fashion stuff. We like your, your bags and your jewelry, so tell us more. So I thought today it's such a fun Sunday, a beautiful day. I would show you my new bag. It just arrived this week. I just had it a few days. Um, I've got it filled right now because it was folded. Like my Louis Vuitton, it needs to be filled uh, I'm not going to take everything out today. I'll show you the inside another day. But I just had to introduce you to Louie's new girlfriend, Gigi, uh, my Gucci bag. Anyways, this is great. You know, I just put my strap on it, <clears throat> and it goes over my shoulder. And this is a great bag. You can see it just fits nicely, and I can carry it everywhere. So I love my, my new Gucci bag, and uh, I'm having fun with it. And now Louie's happy because... Louie has a girlfriend. So Louie's got Gigi. Anyways, I thought I'd show it to you guys. And we'll have more about this, but I just want to introduce it to you today. So thank you so much for being here. Well, it's Sunday. And we're going to talk about the sun today. And I thought I would treat you to another surprise. I made a special altar, a shrine to the sun lord. So come on along. Behold, the eyes of the Sun Lord gazes upon us all. Hey, Tubies, a Psychic Bob. Well, here I am at my Sun Lord shrine. Is this amazing or what? I got this giant tapestry. It fills the whole wall in my bedroom. By the way, the rest of my bedroom is the rest of my bedroom's a mess, so I'll give you a tour of that later. But here is the beautiful Sun Lord. And right below here, I've set a beautiful altar. As you can see, this altar stretches about five, six feet along. And the Sun Lord fills the entire room all the way up to the ceiling. Is that cool? Well, let's take a little tour of the altar here. I'll show you what I'm working on. Hey, TVs, it's Psychic Bob. Well, I tell you, I am so enjoying being here with my Sun Lord. This is the... Hindu god Lord Surya, uh, but I found out what's interesting is that Surya translates as sun or as soul. And so there's really only one sun god because across all the languages, it's the same word. Uh, in Germany, it was soul. Uh, in ancient Rome, it was soul. And in India, it was Surya, but it all translates as the solar or the sun lord. So here we are, the great sun lord behind me. Isn't that great? Well, let's take a look at the altar here. What we've got here is I've set up a beautiful table here that runs the length of the wall here. Over there's the corner and the window, nor are my junk piled up. I'm doing major renovations here. But um, below our Sun Lord, I got this beautiful, this is a new thing I just got, beautiful offering bowl. It's a, it's a sunflower, isn't that beautiful? And then behind it here, we have the um, human form, or the anthropomorphic, is that the word I want? Basically, it looks like a person. Sun, uh, the form of Lord Surya, and a 
humanic, human, humanitarian, whatever word is, person form. Lord Surya can take two forms. He can be as a person, and he can also be in his solar disk form, like we see here on the wall. And you'll notice behind Lord Surya here, there's the big sun disk. Wherever he is, he travels with the sun. And Lord Surya is led on his chariot by seven horses. And the seven horses represent the seven days of the week. And so Lord Surya crosses the sky in his chariot every day. Here you'll notice on my altar, I've used a beautiful gold lame cloth. And I just think gold is a great color for the Sun Lord. If you wanna set up a Sun Lord, you wanna think about colors such as red, like we have here, uh, yellow and gold. This cloth is a beautiful solar cloth. Um, I also have here flanking a number of candles. Let me show you these. These are my solar uh, candles. These are actually from India, and these are Lord Surya candlesticks made of brass. I need to polish them. But you know, it's kind of funny because right now the sun is still growing, and as we get towards the solstice in June, uh, the Sun Lord's power grows. So I think I'll polish these a little bit brighter every month until we get to the solstice, then then they'll be really gleaming. And I've got one of those here on each side. But as you can see, these are beautiful brass. Brass is a wonderful solar metal if you're trying to uh, work with solar energy. Um, I also have a number of beautiful vintage glass candle holders. Um, these are um, called fairy lamps, and you put a little candle in them. And I have them in beautiful kind of an amber golden glass here. Uh, one on each side. And I've got one over here too. You don't see these much. These are vintage from like the 1970s. Um, but they're called fairy lamps. And then I've got another one here in beautiful ruby red, ruby glass. So we've got the colors gold and red, yellow. We've got a lot of orange here in this picture. These are really really solar color. So if you want to, you know, create an altar to the Sun Lord, you want to kind of use these colors. Um, as I mentioned in my video the other day on Sun Lord, I was saying that even silver can be a solar color because the sun at noonday is very bright. So anyways, I want to come here and show you my altar. I thought you'd like it. We're going to be doing some rituals here in the coming weeks when I finish getting stuff. I still need to get a, uh, I'm going to get a new brass solar incenser to go with this. Um, and then I'm looking for a pentacle to put on the altar. It was like a golden colored pentacle. I can find silver ones, but I have yet to find a gold one. I might just if I don't find one, you know, I might buy a wooden one and just paint it gold. That might be an option, too. So, you know, this is some of the things. I'm also going to string lights up here to go around the tapestry. Um, and that's going to be really cool. So I'm getting some red and kind of yellow, or they call, I think, amber lights, like little Christmas tree type lights. And I'm going to string those up and down around across the ceiling and down the wall here. Uh, and that will illuminate the, the altar here at night. So anyways, I thought you guys would enjoy getting a little sense here of my solar altar. And uh, I tell you, I'm really excited. I'm having fun with it. I'm feeling the warmth of the Sun Lord. Well, guys, I am sure glad that you joined me today to take a little tour of my Sun Altar. It's still evolving and developing, so we're definitely going to have more on it. But in the meantime, listen, I want to say thank you. Thank you for being part of Spirit Channel. Thank you for being part of my world. Uh, I have a lot of fun with you guys. And thanks for putting up with my zaniness today. I tell you, I'm going to have a lot of fun with my Louis Vuitton bag and my Gucci bag. And I'll definitely be having more adventures. We're going to go out and do a, a vlog soon. And uh, when I get some time, Psychic Bob's been very busy with his reading schedule. And I want to say thank you to all of you who've been calling for readings. Uh, I still have openings for this upcoming week starting on Tuesday. So if you want to get on my schedule, uh, just call my office, 571-483-2112, and we'll get you on the schedule. Or you can write to me at readings at robert-hickman.com. I'll put the links below. You guys rock. Listen, I hope you'll keep it here at Spirit, Spirit Channel. Like this video, favorite it, share it with your friends, and hit subscribe. Be part of our channel. We'd sure love you to be here. 
Well, I'm going to go back and meditate on the mystic Sun Lord.